I've spent the entire morning at the Mahindra's Chakar manufacturing facility outside Pune, where we've seen what goes into making Mahindra's new BEVs, like the BE6 over here. So let's take a closer look at the process through some B-roll that Mahindra provided us. This video tour of Mahindra's BEV manufacturing facilities will start at the battery manufacturing plant. The battery, of course, is the heart of every electric vehicle. And in fact, the battery plant is located a bit further away in a different part of the complex of Mahindra's massive 700-acre Chakan facility. And you can see the cells which come in pallets. These are BYD blade cells are packed into modules. These cells are compressed. There's 16 cells in each module and the 79 kilowatt hour battery pack on the BE6 and XCV19 has eight such modules. While Mahindra imports the cells for the BE6 and XCV9E, the Inglow platform as they call their battery pack and the battery electric vehicles they're making are made by Mahindra. They have a lot of patents over here. The way they construct the module, the way they make the BMS is all done by Mahindra. Now this is where the body panels are stamped out inside the vehicle manufacturing facility of Mahindra. Of course, this is not unique. This is there for ICE vehicles as well. But the unique thing over here, what I found unique when I went through the plant, is the way they add safety structures, particularly at the bottom part of the car, the sill for example, because the battery has to be protected from impact. The battery is of course being the most dangerous thing and the high voltage. So the battery is very well protected by the safety structures over here. Mahindra has established a separate body shop line for their battery electric vehicles. Now this is very similar to a body shop line you see in ICE plants including the ladder frame plant in this facility where the Scorpio is made and the monocoque plant where the XUV700 is made. The only unique thing in this particular body shop is the laser welding, the laser brazier welding for the roof attachment. This is far nicer than the spot welding for the roof and ensures that they don't have to put a plastic or rubber strip on the roof. So it's pretty cool over here. After the bodies are ready, they're taken to the paint shop. Now the paint shop at Mahindra's Chakran facility is shared for both battery electric vehicles and internal combustion engine vehicles. Over here, you can see the electro deposition. This is done to create a negatively charged body so the paint attaches better. After this, there are four layers of paint. First, the ceiling over here, then the base coat followed by the top coat. Mahindra is also trying out something very, very new with the BE6 in particular called Pixel painting as you can see over here that allows for minimum wastage it's sort of like an inkjet printer that runs through the vehicle very unique very well done Mahindra is really trying to innovate over here with their BEVs there's zero wastage zero effluent going out into the environment a highly robotic process over here as well And finally, the final assembly line, again, very similar to an internal combustion engine car. But over here, the very first thing is the infinity roof, which you will see in the three variants of both BEVs, so Mahindra are attached. And then, of course, workers at the plant add everything from the seats to the cooling systems and more. Of course, this is also the place where the underbody meets the monocoque structure of the car. You can see over here, the B60's individual cockpit is being attached over there. This is the XCV90. Of course, very unique process. The seats are being attached. It's quite a busy hub. Mahindra has kept quite a few empty stations at the final assembly line because current production capacity is only 90,000 units per year, but 
based on demand, they can easily ramp up to 120,000 and then to 200,000 units per year and eventually on a three shift basis, possibly even to 300,000. There's enough scope for expansion over here. You can see the underbody being attached to the car and then the robots torquing the battery system onto the car body. Very unique over here. This is quite interesting to see. First time I saw an EV manufacturing plant anywhere in the world, let alone India. And it was quite a fascinating thing. I really thank Mahindra for taking me here and seeing these cars. They're actually very, very well priced. I hope to be driving one very, very soon, not just on the media launch drive, but possibly even buy one of these because with the big battery packs and the pricing that Mahindra has announced, these do seem very, very attractive.